hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome today i'm gonna show you how to make a very easy peasy spicy guacamole to make this spicy and delicious goodness you're gonna need some cilantro avocado or pear tomato limes or lemons and jalapeno I'm also going to be using some onions and sea salt. You can use any salt of your choice. So it is time to cut the veggies. We're going to be doing a lot of cutting today. So I'm starting with the onion. So I'm going to be using about half a bulb of onion. You can use as much as you want. The reason why I am starting with the onion is because I want to pickle it a little bit before adding the other ingredients. By the time I'm done cutting the other ingredients, the onion would have pickled after cutting the onion i like to run my knife over it to cut it into little tiny pieces so if this is your first time on my channel or you are a returning viewer and you are not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and on the notification bell so that you can get an alert whenever i post a video like and share the video thank you and god bless you when I'm done with the onions, I'm going to transfer about half a cup to a quarter cup of onions into the stone mortar because I'm going to crush it further. You could also use a bowl if you don't have this. Then I'm going to cut the jalapeno. You can use any spicy pepper of your choice or you could use bell pepper if you don't want spicy. If you want your guacamole to be very spicy, you're gonna need more than one jalapeno because i'm not gonna be eating this alone i'm just gonna use one jalapeno but if you want it to be more spicy use more jalapeno jalapenos are spicy peppers but on the milder side they are not too hot like i said earlier on if you don't want it to be spicy you can use green bell peppers or if you are using jalapeno just remove the seeds just as I did with the onions, I'm going to chop it into smaller pieces, then add it to the onions and pickle everything together. Before cutting the lime, I'm going to roll it back and forth while applying pressure. This will help to soften it so that the lime will produce more juice. Another way to do it is to microwave it for about 30 seconds. This will also help the lime to produce more juice. So I'm going to squeeze in the lime juice. Like I said earlier, the lime juice is going to help to pickle the onion and the pepper. You could use lime or lemon. It doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to add in some sea salt. Like I said, you can use any salt of your choice. I'm going to mash everything together. I don't want to grind it to become smooth or something. I just want to crush them so that everything will mix together perfectly. This is going to release the flavor of everything combined. When everything is nicely crushed, I'm going to set it aside to continue to pickle while I move over to prep the other ingredients. I am using two Roma tomato. You can use any tomato of your choice. I'm just going to slice and dice them. Let me use this opportunity to send a very special shout out to all those that have subscribed. You guys are the best. I love you. Thank you and God bless you. When I'm done, I'm going to set it aside and move over to the cilantro. Whenever you're cutting your cilantro, you don't have to pluck or pick it. Just put them in a bunch and cut it. The only thing you can do is to cut off the larger stems, which are less flavorful, but the smaller stems are very flavorful. So it is okay to add the smaller stems. I like to cut my cilantro into very fine pieces, but you can cut it whichever way you prefer. When I'm done, I'm going to set it aside. So I'm going to be using three large ripe avocados. The best way to know if your avocado is ripe is to apply a little bit of pressure. And when you see a little bit of dent, you know it is ready. But once you apply some pressure and there is no movement, that means the avocado is not ripe. 
so you have to let it sit for a few days for it to ripen up so i've already cut my avocado into two i'm just gonna scoop out the fleshy part to remove the avocado pit you can either squeeze it out scoop it out or you could remove it with a knife so let me show you how to remove it with a knife if you are very comfortable with it When I'm done scooping out everything, I'm going to mash it with a pestle. But if you're using a bowl, you can mash it with a fork or a potato masher or with anything you have. I prefer my guacamole to be chunky, so I'm not going to mash it all the way so it's not going to be creamy and smooth. It is going to be chunky. So I'm going to squeeze in the remaining lime juice. This is going to prevent the guacamole from turning brown. Not just the guacamole, it is even the avocado itself. I'm also going to be adding more salt. One good thing about making guacamole, you can adjust your seasoning and your ingredients to your satisfaction. So I'm just going to try to mix everything to combine. So at this point, I'm going to add the cilantro and the tomato and mix everything to combine. So in case you don't love tomato, you can omit it or use red bell pepper instead of tomato. Some people don't want tomato in their guacamole and I understand why. But this is the traditional way of making guacamole. These are the main ingredients. You can adjust it whichever way you want. And you can add whatever you want to add to it. So we are practically done. This is how you make guacamole. So let me give it a taste. Wow, delicioso. So the guacamole is not too spicy. It is mild. But to some people it could be spicy. But not to me. It is chunky. It is very delicious. So I made another guacamole that is very spicy because I added more jalapenos and I also omitted tomatoes. One fun fact about avocado, do you know that it is known as pear in so many African countries? Of course, I know the right pronunciation is pear, but we call it pear. Most of the time, guacamole is enjoyed with tortilla chips, but let me show you other ways to enjoy your guacamole. It goes perfectly with any rice dish and in California, they make avocado toast. Sorry, I don't like toast, but you can eat it with bread. You can have this for breakfast. It is very satisfying and nutritious. We all know how nutritious avocado is. So these are just a few ways to enjoy your guacamole. Now that you know how to make guacamole, why don't you give this recipe a try? I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Instead, you're going to enjoy it. So, thank you guys for watching. Till I see you next time. Stay safe. Stay blessed. I love you. Bye.